You know, I was thinking about this uh, Gunther Stark. Oh no! Why don't don't give that thought? What what, what what's well, going on? And I've heard from a lot of people that uh, you know they're certainly not defending the name Gunther Stark so much, but like you know they're they're asking a lot of questions like you know are we sure that WWE knew what they were doing? Is it possible they didn't know? Is it possible that like Valter wanted the name and and you know they didn't know it? And listen, all of that is possible, okay? It's all possible. All right? But the fact of the matter is after all these years including on a show where Sarai is re-debuting dressed as a Japanese schoolgirl. And Ali had an idea from Vince McMahon that led him to want to quit and tweet out a photo of him in front of a, a you know, when he watched the world burn. I mean, it's just very hard for me to give WWE the benefit of the doubt in this situation. If that makes me an unfair man or a bad person, then I, I, I'm afraid that I have to accept that. But I, I just cannot give WWE the benefit of the doubt in this Gunther Stark situation. That's just me. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Now, now, quite frankly, I've asked a lot of people, and nobody is admitting to coming up with the idea. Nor have I, by the way, heard anybody in WWE give their own company the benefit of the doubt. So mm-hmm. I could be wrong. They could be wrong. I don't know. But man, oh man, it's very hard to give them the benefit of the doubt in this situation. You are not wrong. I am not wrong. No one who is not giving WWE the benefit of the doubt is wrong. Period. You know, the repu- their reputation speaks for itself. History is on... Our aside for those people who are looking at this with a real cynical eye and have a an issue with it. Maybe some people have a real problem with it. I just take umbrage with it. I have an issue with it. I think it's ridiculous on a lot of different levels. And I think it's uh it's just it's just another shining example of just missing the boat completely, missing the U-boat completely. You know, changing these names in the first place is ridiculous. Not doing your due diligence in the way you needed to do. Having those that tweet and that stuff from Bartel where it looked like this was either if it's not being planned. I mean, what, what, what's WWE going to say? That, well, they shouldn't have tweeted that out. We don't know what they were doing. They were acting on their own. Nobody's saying that. You know, all for all of the people that are saying, you know, Walter could have chosen this name. No, nobody's nobody's really saying anything about that. Nobody's really backing up that from inside the company that that if this was Walter's idea or anything like that. Like Brian said, most of the people that I've talked to are looking at this and rolling their eyes and have the same thoughts that a lot of us do. It was just sloppy. It was ignorant. It was unneeded. And they have to pay whatever social price they're going to have to pay for that. Not going to put them out of business. They're not going to care. They're going to be in Saudi Arabia soon. People are going to be upset and outraged about that. They're going to do plenty of other things on top of having a completely vanilla, painfully slow, painfully unfunny, painfully entertaining uh, television show and television product across all brands, period, no matter what it is. So, you know, I I just come on, you know, and I and I I have a feeling you'll be doing this again, maybe in, a, in about an hour or so. You'll be you'll be talking about this issue and, and getting Lance's thoughts on it. And I'm very interested to hear what what he has to say about it. Uh, but I just <laughs> nobody. Why are people still now trying to defend this or stand up for WDB or any of that stuff? You just. Again, with history not being on their side, I mean, come on, I, really, please. All a Nazi will not for Christ's sake. Me leaving WWE for years, according to a report. Fightful Select reports WWE has refused to grant Ollie's public request to be released from his contract, a contract that has years left on it. The report states that Ali and WWE have been in contact since he made his request on Sunday. The company has told Ali they will not grant the release now and have no plans to in the future. <laughs> I'd like to invite Ollie onto this show. I see ya. Come For on real. this show and, and tell us all about it. 
For real. Because he's not allowed to, so he should, and then maybe they'll fire him, and we can get the full story. That yeah, would actually right. kill many birds with one stone if he just came mm-hmm. on this show to talk about it. Ali has been gone that. from television since November, and early report states that a heated argument with Vince McMahon over a pitch that McMahon made to Ali regarding his character was the catalyst for Ali not appearing on TV. So not only was Vince's idea an idea that made him want to quit, but it led to a heated argument with Ali and Vince McMahon. <laughs> but we should give them the benefit of the doubt. Maybe oh, they surely. just wanted him to, uh, I don't know, maybe they wanted him to just cut his hair. You know, something simple. Hey, Brian, did yes. th- was this the company that uh, that had Charlotte Flair uh, and, and have her p- dead brother's name invoked in a storyline? And then that was uh, tried to be positioned as Charlotte's idea. And she oh, was maybe okay it was it? Charlotte's idea. Was it? Because it didn't sound that way. And it, it actually sounded like later on, especially when Rick talked about it, that she wasn't OK with it. Well, you know, again, this is just. A long line of insensitivity, a long line of, of, again, just ignorance, just flat out ignorance, you know. And with Ali, it's amazing what they, it's amazing. They're not going to let him go. But you let all those other people go. You talk, you know, you, you brought up on Rampage that, you know, there was blood. These women, oh, they, they massacred themselves. You know, what about like something for real like what about you bringing over uh, uh alice in danger and you have her uproot her whole life and her whole family to bring her over to cut her and send her back packing again how many days after you you bring her it's just it's just it's just sorry just just slimy and sorry and they're getting what they deserve any bad I mean, and again they don't have to get bad press i'm not rooting for them to get bad press but as far as people looking at them and just blowing them off and hand waving them and not taking them seriously on any of this stuff and and you know it just they, they get what they deserve you root in it that's what you get hey girl how was your new year's oh it was so much fun Brooks and I put our boots on, and we did a little Texas two-step. Oh, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not like that. Daddy, these girls are so you. Um, who are you? I'm Wendy Chu. And why are you looking at me like a ham sandwich? Wendy who? Ham sandwich? Wendy Chu? Then it ends. Bro, that was, like, easily a thousand times better than what they did. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.